Hello everybody, this is Bethrow Butkin 7 and we're back with some more Undertale. In the last part there was a lot of papyrus going on and uh, today, well, there's this part. I mean, lots of people have been mentioning the waterfalls being kind of a big thing and uh, I guess I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen there. Well, we're gonna meet the new character. I am pretty certain uh, that we are going to meet the Undyne that uh, that uh, our friend Papyrus has been talking about. So that will be interesting. Okay, so there's rocks. I guess we'll have to make our way over those or past those. Let's, uh, let's go through. Actually, I remember seeing this part before. The, the part with the rocks. Uh, yeah, because uh, before I played this game, I saw like my friend playing it and... Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I do have like a few parts, but thankfully it seems that this part is at the beginning of the game, so I don't really have much else to add to. Oh. This is a creepy effect. I'm gonna go back. Rock, take me down with you. Okay. There's a flower here. What's what do you what's the deal? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Wait, the flower? But you don't have eyes. Wait a second. Oh. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Mm, I don't want to take it. It's probably someone's. <laughs> oh. Ah, stupid rock bullying me and pushing me around. Alright, come on. Let's get through this water. Whoa, that's a lot of rocks. Okay, let's go through the creepy area with the creepy shadows. A knight. Oh, it's Papyrus. <laughs> Hi Undyne! And I, Hi Undyne! I'm here with my daily report! Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Uh, huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, so this is the papyrus that... Oh, oh dear. Okay. Let's have to not move. Okay, this is creepy. <laughs> Okay, did she teleport away? Okay. Oh, tiny guy. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. Where'd you get to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> that guy's weird. A feeling of dread hangs over you. But you stay determined. Okay, so that's Undyne. That will be kind of uh, scary, I guess. Okay, so there's plants here. Oh, I can pick them up. Okay, so this is a puzzle where you have to put down the lily things. And they sound like mice. Wh wh what's the deal, plants? Why do you sound like a, mi a mice? You're not a mouse. You're... Oh. I thought it was a mice hole. Oh, well. Okay, enemies. Aaron flexes in. Okay, so... You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attra attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex. Oof. Eddie is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice! I won't lose though. Wink! Okay, so sweat? Is he sweating at me? Oh dear god, that's disgusting. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Hooray? Okay. Okay, alright, so now it's time to... Ooh, puzzles. Okay, what does this say? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where it started. Okay, so... Hmm. 
Okay, alright, so... Grab this, put here, grab that, put here, grab this, put there, right? Is, is that gonna be the, the, the answer? Come on! Wait, are you, are you actually saying that there's like a pattern I have to follow? That's kind of... Hey, you! Over there! Tell me your things! Stupid sign. Ugh. Yeah, actually, let me try to get that sign. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the best idea. Let's go read that sign. Also, look at me. I'm, like, I'm carrying this thing with no hands. Look, Ma! No hands! Okay, you, no, no, you go over there too. Don't, don't, don't think you're so, uh, you're so exempted of this thing. Okay, all right, there we go. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> wow, gee, thanks for being so helpful, you. Ugh, I tell you. Okay, so, what do I need to do? Square? I'm gonna go with square. Squares are nice. Honestly, this puzzle feels like it's being a bit picky. Yeah, it is. It's really trial and error-like, which is not exactly the best kind of puzzle. If I must be so honest... Hmm... Okay, let's try this, this, and this. No... Wait, do I need to do this? Hold on. I mean, that would explain why that little extrusion happens to be there. But I feel like the fact that I don't have any clue how to get through- Oh, okay, there we go. Was there something down there? I think I saw like a path- No? Okay, fine. Let's go on this way. Yeah, that was a bit, um... Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Um... Asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Uh, I don't want to lie to him, but I'm pretty sure he's calling uh, to, to have me found by what I say. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it? Wink wink. Have a nice day. Um, should I take it off? I mean, the bandana is giving me advantages, but... Uh, <laughs> I hate being dishonest. Alright, I'm back. Get out of here, cursor. Okay, so we made it. We made this little bridge, and now let's go in here. What's this say? Wishing room. Telescope, but first, Washua shuffles up. Okay. What can I do? Um, Alright, I'm gonna check you out. Okay, this humble germophobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Out! Dawn! Spot tweet. Okay, so then he's gonna have cleaning stuff all over the place. Okay, so that's soap. He's attacking with me soap. He's rinsing off the pizza. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. You ask Washua to clean you. He hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Okay, I'm not. Tr I'm trying to hit the the green. Watch was friends with the little bird. Green means clean. Okay, so let me hit the green one. Okay, all right. I've been cleansed. Ah, so you can stop now. Watch was rinsing off the pizza. Okay. Ooh, this guy, man. I tell you. Okay, I won. Okay, so let me first eat more bicycle. We want half of the bicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Okay. What's that do? Look through the telescope. Check wall. Okay. Oof. Do I want to go up there? I think something bad's gonna start happening soon. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Ooh, backstory time! What's this? Just a tiny bridge? Okay, alright. Backstory time! Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. 
Humans are unbelievably strong. We would take the soul of ev nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. Ooh, so heaven is actually a real thing in all this? Okay. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Can I see it? I mean, it seems like something- Whoa! Right. Am I, I, I just glitched out there for a moment. Okay, so... Uh, let's take a raft. Oh, no going back, huh? Oh! Aha! I had a feeling. Okay, so alright. So this is a scene... Actually, I can't remember seeing that part, but yeah, we have to dodge the spears, and if I don't, well, this. Okay, so... Alright, let's, let's be very careful. Ooh, I think I just barely dodged those. Just barely. Like that attack. Okay. Whew, this sequence is tense. Ah! ah. Ow, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, ah, I can't use my food! What is this? Oh. Ah. Okay. Uh, just really, what? 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 I'm blocked. Or am I safe? Oh, that's no good. Did I just get killed? Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't think I want to. You're awfully excited for someone who almost got killed. Okay. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. No, nah, you don't say. Squeak. Okay, knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Do the mice have anything to do with anything? I swear to God, it, it's just like, oh, there's a mouse, there's a mouse, and all it does is squeak, and there's a cheese that you can do anything to. I, I swear there's like a meta puzzle around that, but... Probably not. Hey, sons. Mm. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. Mm. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium mm. telescope, but since I know you, you can mm. use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, sure. I have a bad feeling I'm gonna see something crazy. Is it, is, is it sons? Is he gonna shove his face in there? Hmm. Is that the kind of guy who would just do that? Like a jump scare? Hmm. Okay. What are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No, I'm not. I'm not even close to being a star, man. Oh! Shut up. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. An ice cream, it's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Not just 25G. Sure. Super. Here you go. Your card's in the box. Okay. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get another one. Oh, but I'm all full of stuff now, though. Okay, so... I really have to start figuring out how to... Okay, yeah, that's me. You have to start figuring out... Okay, they're both unicycles now, so... Hmm. Yeah, okay, so... Alright, I have a feeling a battle's coming on very soon. 
Actually, how am I doing in terms of uh, okay, I, I'm full of HP. Okay. All right, so this part has is very glowy. This is kind of weird. A duck. Okay, do I have to get to the duck? I'm gonna go try to get to the duck. Ooh. Got a nice little blue atmosphere going on. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Mm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. <laughs> There's no such thing as a stupid wish, my friend. Even though you're probably already long dead. Oh, you walk into Mold Small. Oh, they're already passing. <laughs> it's a pair of ballast shoes. Will you take it? You're carrying it too much. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll go back to a box and put some things in them. <laughs> I keep being nervous about taking things because I know this game might actually chastise me for stealing things that aren't mine, but... Yeah... I mean, this cannot be any coincidence that these things are there. Do I have to be like... Okay, that's... Is the box? Okay, sure. Duh. Okay, I can put the punch card away. I don't really care too much. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the stick and... Uh... Actually, the snowman piece uh, will be you know, going in the box along with me, so, okay. So I've got, okay. Now let me just go get that tutu again. I, I, I don't wanna. I, I, I feel like I should go get it, but I, I, I'm i feeling like this is a bad thing for me to do, because if I do that, then I'm, then someone's probably gonna be like, you stole my tutu, now you're gonna die, and... Uh, ring. Hello, this is Pepperus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what she told me you were wearing. A bandana? Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you had obviously changed your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Oh. I didn't do that though. Uh, <laughs> okay, alright, so flex. Oh, it's a darn spot. Okay, so. Nice, I won't lose though. Pink. Because uh, sweating and. Uh, uh, the soap is cleaning up the sweat. Okay, so flex once more and you'll be gone. Flex the stuff out of them. Poof. Okay, so. Ow. My soul is not dirtiness. Okay, so clean me up. Green me's clean, okay. Ow. Ah, okay, you can stop cleaning me now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take off the bandana. <laughs> Even though it's like being very protective. Wait, so if I had told him that I was wearing that thing and I changed my mind, then. Okay. Oh well, okay, so... The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans fear. Well, yeah. Oh, Pantacle. Pantacle. Pantacle, what are you doing? Oh, oh. 
Hello you, you seem very anime like. Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Onion San! Onion San, you here? Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! You know, the water's uh, getting so shallow here. I, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay! Beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to... I... That's okay though, you, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. I have a good time in Waterfall. Okay. Now I'm extremely worried. Okay. Uh, uh Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Fine. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile too. Shine gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Okay. Sounds like music. You hum a sad song. Shine follows your melody. See me, see me, see me, see me. Shannon seems much more comfortable singing along. Alright. Alright. The northern room hides a great treasure. Lies, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Oh, it's a piano. There's a piano here, guys. Hmm. What does that do? A haunting song echoes down a corridor. Once you play along, only the first eight are fine. Okay, so. Alright, so Shiren actually said, sang a song. See me, see me. No, see Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Right? Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know which note is which because uh, my ear is not very good. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monsters called boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could s absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and night never will. Why? Because uh, the boss monster was killed? It's a statue. The structures, the structures at its feet seem dry. Huh. Okay. Please take one. What's this? Take the umbrella? Sure. A lot of rain. Hey, yo! You got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! I'm suspicious of you. Every time you show up, Undyne appears and I'm... Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> You're not making me feel any better, little guy. Why, is, why does it feel like this rain is falling? Oh. So, one time, we had a school project, we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had a call Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching a class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? 
She would beat up all the teachers. <laughs> Are the teachers bad guys though? Okay, so okay. Well, uh, maybe if the teachers. Yeah, mm, maybe she would beat up the teachers. She's too cool to hurt or hurt an innocent person. Uh, well. Okay, now this is, because that's the capital over there. Oh, well, where are you going, man? Okay, it is. Return the umbrella. I can't. All right. Yeah, this ledge is way too steep. Yeah, you want a sound dime, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yeah, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah. Tiny kid NPCs always seem to have a uh, an. Uncanny ability to do that. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Well, I mean, to be fair, if a mo if monsters go around taking people's souls... Uh, I don't know, I'd be scared too. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Yeah, I mean... I get that, you know, like the, the possibility of having your soul taken is kind of scary. That's it, though. I mean, I don't know. It just seems a bit... Oh, here comes Undyne again. I can tell because I have shadows. Ooh. Spears. Okay. Okay, just gotta dodge the spots. Oof, that's close. Yep. Okay. Good. Huh. Ah. Okay, how do I get out of the, after this bridge? <laughs> it's a little maze. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my butt handed to me by Undyne. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, that's a Denon. That's a Denon. That's a Denon. That's a Denon. Oh, there, there, there. Stay safe. Okay. okay. Ow. Okay. I think I'm generally safe from the uh, attacks if I stay down below. Okay. The attacks are getting quicker now, so I must be getting close to the exit. This fills me with determination. Okay, so now there's a, there's a large space of control. Our attacks are getting really quick though. Okay. Okay, our attacks are getting weaker because she's getting further away, right? She's gonna show up, right? Oh. Oh boy. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up! Chef! Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Uh... Okay. Looks like this might be a long episode. Oh, never mind. Here's the safe point, so... The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. 
Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. I am determined by the weirdest things. Anyway, this has been Mithu back in a 7 with this episode of Undertale, which is actually longer than the others, but hey, who, who's gonna keep count, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next part. Until then, have a nice one! No! What? Why did you do this? Okay, so I'm guessing I have to avoid the spike. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? If you start questioning the fabric of space and time, well, some weird spooky monster is gonna come get you. <laughs>